Hey guys, today is Monday, January 20th, 2014. It is my week 53 post off lap band. Um, I almost didn't make a video today because I had a game. Got a fill last week. Did really, really well all week long. And um, actually was down almost four pounds on the scale until Aunt Flo got here. God, I hate her. I hate her so much. I have pimples, like, all over the place. 41 years old, I still have pimples. Uh, and, yeah, I, my, my caloric, caloric intake was still under, but I was eating things like popcorn and, um, just craving salt. I ate some pumpkin seeds that had salt on them. Just snacky stuff. Like, I feel like I need to be eating all the time. Thank you, Aunt Flo. Uh, so, last week I was 211.8. This week I am 212.2. .2. That is a .4 gain. But actually, throughout the week, I fluctuated down 4 pounds and then back up 4 pounds with another .4 to boot. So, screw you, Aunt Flo. I hate you. I'll be glad when you leave my life forever and take all that extra water weight and munchy food eat eating and cravings with you. Um, yeah. This week I've started exercising faithfully. Every day I've been exercising. Um, I have been running up and down my stairs. The main level of my house is on this, actually on the second floor. The first floor is our basement and garage. And then our bedroom is the one up there. I will run down the steps, up the steps, up the steps, up the steps, like, okay, let me guess it. Down the steps, up the steps, up the steps, up the steps, like, I'm going three floors, up and down. And I'll do that a couple times, up three flights of stairs, like, as fast as I can go, until I feel like I'm going to die. And I've been doing uh, squats. Uh, for two days, I could hardly walk. Those freaking things hurt. And they don't burn very many calories. I was so sad to see how many calories you actually burn exercising. I was like, Psh, this isn't worth it, but I'm going to stick with it. <clears throat> um, so squats every day, running up and down stairs every day, or I just jog around my house like a crazy person. Um, our downstairs is like a big circle. It's like through the living room, through the kitchen, through the dining room. And I'll just jog um, through there. Uh, and I'll do it for five or six minutes at a time and then stop and then five or six minutes and then stop. And most of the time it does, the app does really well. It just automatically uploads to my fitness pal, which is nice. Um, but it, a couple times it didn't. So I, don't know, I didn't bother to put it in. Um, let's see. And sit-ups. Yes, I've been doing sit-ups and the little band, you know, the stretchy band things where you do this, the arm curls and whatnot. I've been doing those. So every day I've been doing my own little workout routine and never leave the house. I just sit here in my house and do it. Um, my legs hurt, my arms hurt, my abs hurt. I'm not sure how long it takes for that to stop happening, but I'll be glad when that gets here too. Um, let's see. Really short video this week, but I did want to make one. I almost didn't. And then I watched Evie's video where she's putting on makeup and getting ready for work. And I thought, get off your ass and put on some makeup and get this video done. So thanks, Evie, for inspiring me to put on makeup, which then inspired me to do a video. Because it's a horrible waste of a good face to not, like, document it. Whatever works. Uh, Jussie is almost at 50 pounds lost. She has one pound to go. I'm very excited for that. Congratulations, Justine. Um, Erica, I love you, girl. I'm thinking about you and your brother, and uh, my heart goes out to you, and I love you. And last but not least, I don't know if my good friend Julie is watching my videos or not. Uh, she and I have been friends since a long time. We've been friends longer than we haven't been friends. That's so, yeah. Um... She is getting some sort of surgery. I think she's leaning towards the gastric bypass, but she's having bariatric, 
bariatric surgery and I just wanted to say congratulations I love you I wish you all the luck in the world and um, I support you 100% so there that's my weekly update I am going to keep on keeping on even though the scale is really making me angry it's very frustrating when it you're doing the right things and it doesn't uh, doesn't get with the program but I'm going to keep on through this and hopefully when Aunt Flo does leave town I will be uh, all the better for it I will have just I'll just lose a big chunk because my legs are really swollen my hands are swollen I'm sure it's all the sodium and whatever Aunt Flo did to me that gave me pimples and you know weight retention water retention when she leaves hopefully a big chunk of weight will just fall off at one time the fill I'm loving it loving 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 it um, I can eat small amounts of food at a time and I'm not I'm satisfied for the most part except for the late night ant flow cravings I'm loving this fill I'm shocked I guess it's just because the timing of ant flow but I would have had about a four pound loss uh, I don't think I'm gonna get on the scale anymore until next week just because I hate ant flow she makes me mad and it sets the tone for the whole day when I step on the scale and it goes no oh, you gain two more pounds and I hate that wee voice that's obese I hate her I really hate her oh something else I hate somebody gives us thumbs down and it's like every couple weeks they just show up and give me a thumbs down why do they do that look look this is for you who whoever this bitch is that's giving us a thumbs down we're moving we're doing stuff and if you don't like our videos don't watch them go watch something else but don't give me a thumbs down because I'm working really hard or even on weeks when I'm not working really hard don't give me a thumbs down just fuck off there there that's my PMS video to you anyway I uh, hope everybody's having a great week I hope you are all big losers and I will see you next week